Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, we just finished up our sales map. And we're going to go on to sales by category, uh, which is the second data bit. So I created uh, a new worksheet by clicking on this button right here. And then I renamed uh, that worksheet to sales by category. All right, so we're doing sales by category here. So we need our sales. Let's go ahead and drag that into columns. No, rows. No, let's do columns. Okay, and then we'll also take a order date and drag it into rows. Let's switch those. We can switch those by clicking on this here. Okay, so now we're, we're getting somewhere, but we really want to see the um, order date broken down by month. So we can click this little plus button uh, we can click it again because we want it by month, not by quarter. And let's go ahead and get rid of year and quarter. So we just have it broken down by month. Uh, but we want it to be um, continuous instead of discrete. So we can click on the, the down arrow there next to month and go into this bottom section here. So there's, there's this top section here, and then there's this bottom section here. So we're going to do continuous month. And there we go. We've got a little bit of a chart going. Uh, we want this to be an area chart, so we can change that in the marks card to area. Okay, starting to look more like the uh, the sheet that uh, we're trying to base this off of. All right. Um, in order to get those two different colors of, on the chart, we're going to uh, make our first level level of detail calculation. We're going to click on order ID. And then we're going to click control click on to um, I believe it was profit to make sure that they're both selected. Right click and let's go to create an LOD calculation. Okay, so right away it gives us uh, profit order ID. We're going to change that to um, um, order profitable. Question mark. And inside the brackets, we're going to make it uh, a little great, uh, is that greater than sign, zero. And click OK. OK, now we have this new uh, calculated field called order profitable. Uh, inside of that field, let's actually uh, edit that again. Uh, we can click on the drop down here, or right click it and click edit. And at the end of this, we're going to Put a comment with a slash slash. We're going to call. It, we're going to write out calculates the profit at the order level. Click OK. Okay. Uh, we're going to change the aliases inside of there. Uh, so that it makes sense with profitable and unprofitable. But we can click on that drop down there. And uh, go over to aliases. Okay, on the right here, when it says false, we're going to change that to unprofitable. And when it says true, we're going to change it to profitable. Click OK. Uh, then we also want to be able to sort at this level. So you know, click the drop down, and where's sort? I don't see sort. I think we actually want to drag it into the color section here. And when we drag it into the color section, uh, we can see that it actually uh, creates these two little charts for us. So we've got unprofitable and profitable. Maybe in here, we'll be able to sort it. There it is. So click on our little blue pill here in the marks card, click sort. And we want to sort by manual. So we want uh, profitable to be on top and unprofitable on the bottom. And uh, that, work, that works, click, click X there. We also want it so that uh, we've got the blue on the top. So let's click edit colors and make profitable blue and unprofitable orange. Click OK. It's starting to look closer to uh, our dashboard. We also want the color to be 100% opacity. Just like that. Okay, we're actually getting pretty close to the end of this one now. Um, 
let's add the category before the uh, the sales section here. So let's find our category blue pill here on the left and drag it before the sum sales in the top section. And that is looking pretty close. Okay, I wanna point out a few things. Um, when we mouse over and hover over, it's called the tooltip, this little box that shows up next to my cursor. Uh, we also want the profit to show up in the tooltip. So we can uh, go ahead and take profit and drag it to tooltip and see how that works. Okay, so now we've got, you know, order profitable, it says profitable, category is furniture, we've got the month and the date, uh, month and the year, we've got profit and sales. Uh, let's go into the tooltip and edit that a little bit. One moment. Okay. Um, we want the we want to get rid of order profitable here. Delete that. Okay, and then we want profit to be underneath sales. So let's take that and drag that to the end. And click OK. And now when we mouse over, we've got our category, uh, you know, month and order dates and then month and year, and then we've got sales and profit in that order. All right, that's, that's it for this section. Um, the la for this sheet, the last, well, uh, we could do one more thing. We can right click and we wanna get rid of sales here and month of order date here on the bottom to make it look a little cleaner. So right click on any of these sections here edit the access and go over to the access titles and delete where it says sales. Just like that, it'll clean it up a little bit. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, right click here on the bottom, edit access and get rid of the title just by deleting it. X out of that. We can also take order profitable here on the right and drag it over to the left. So we have more space for our, our viz here. And uh, we wanted to duplicate this so that we have category and then we also have one by segment. So we have category and segment. So let's right click on set sales by category here on the bottom and we're gonna click duplicate. Okay. Uh, and then this one's gonna be sales by segment. So let's rename it to sales by segments. Okay, and then instead of category here at the top, we're going to get rid of that and we're going to move segment in in front of some sales. And just like that, we've created our two dashboard, our two data vizs that we'll put in the bottom of our dashboard. Uh, and that's it for this section. I'll see you guys in the next one.